Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be commentating a NASCAR iRace here at North Wilkesboro. Man, I never thought I'd get to say that. Uh, we're currently under caution right now. I was going to start recording at lap 30, but then caution came out and I'm just like, meh, why not? So let's see if they're going to play a replay. Because I seriously have no idea what the heck happened. Okay, we're either getting one. Oh, yep, we're getting one. Alright. Got the 77 and the 18. It looks like the... Oh, the 18 just gets loose. Of uh, Bobby Labonte, by the way. 18 to Kyle Busch and 18 to Bobby Labonte. And he just goes around. So, yeah. Bobby Labonte has been extremely loose for this entire race. Alrighty, so before... While we're under caution, I have some time. Um... The 78 of is now Martin Truex Jr. Because Bobby Labonte is 18. The second one. I, I don't know. Uh, there's two 18s on the track. Um, I believe all of Hendrick Motorsports' cars are not present. So no Jimmy Johnson. No Iris and Baus. William Byron. He's out of here. Tim Hill is, though. He's... He's been doing a pretty strong third, fourth, top five uh, run today. All right, that's, that's not commercial. I think Fox would sue me if I... Maybe Jeff can explain that. Finished dead last in both races. This particular car has a funny story. They talk about not completing a lap. This car was destroyed before it ever started a lap. It was wrecked three feet from the start finish line on the green flag. I'll let Jeffrey tell you all about that race. Again, I hope you finish better today than you did back in 93, buddy. <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> He did cross the line. He did cross the line. You got turned. Somebody Thank in you. front of you Thank checked you up. Uh, you got turned. That was Jeff Bodine in the seven. Uh, some more of the collateral damage. <laughs> no, no, saw the replay of this this morning. Yeah, the race and, I really remember, I started kind of in the top five. And I bumped right, I'm going to mute it now. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm probably going to go back and... To uh, rewatch these past 30 laps, because, oh man, I've never thought I'd see a race at North Wilkesboro. And thanks to Daryl Earnhardt Jr. and the iRacing crew and some of Daryl Earnhardt Jr.'s buds, this this is a iRacing track. It's going to be coming out, don't quote me on this, June 2nd. I could be wrong. Uh, I do believe it was in the June month. Uh, it, it's coming very soon. So this will be the na la uh, pff, the last NASCAR iRacing professional... No, sorry. It, it's a tongue twister. Last NASCAR iRacing provisional... No, Pro Invitational Series. Whew. Tongue twister right there. So yeah, this is the last uh, Cup I race that they're going to do. Oh, look, the Iris and Baus. He actually has the lead. Nice, it's nice. We are going to be going at Darlington next Sunday. I will have a, um, a Google Forums down below if you guys want me to continue commentating the last few laps of the races. Alrighty, we got the iRacing custom setups. Seems like they really want it loose for this track. What was the number 19 Martin Truex Jr.? He's coming back. Oh, Clint Boyer, he might have been touched. Clint Boyer has actually been doing good, which is uh, amazing, considering his iRacing career recently. Oh, he j he's just out of here. Oh, no, he wrecked! I, I spoke too soon! Oh, and Jeff Gordon, too! He was doing really good. Oh, yeah, Je Jeff Gordon's here. I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, man. I, I was really hoping for uh, Jeff Gordon and... Uh, <sighs> shoot, I can't... Clint Boyer to do really well. And they were, but, dang! Yo, we gotta hear what Clint Boyer's saying about this. 
Please don't sue me, Fox. Thirty eight just spun and the fourteen and the twenty four just got collected in it. Well, I was trying to stay off of uh, Truex. I don't know what happened to them in front of me. I'm trying to watch the broadcast and drive and pit. This is Sorry, I'm trying to pit here. <laughs> Man, sounds like they're gonna go to commercial. Um, but iRacing, they uh, sorry, uh, North Wilkesboro, they actually uh, didn't have a wall to protect the tire changing guys and stuff. They they had one that came in front of pit road on on the track, but where the drivers usually jump up over the wall, they didn't have that. How cool is that? I mean, safety standpoint, no, it's not cool. But I mean, besides that, that's that's really cool. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna attach a Google Forms down in the link in the description below. Um. It'll be asking if you guys want me to do more of this, because I have had a blast doing this. And I'm, I'm glad to go back racing, but I'm wondering if I should uh, d d commentate the races. Sorry, I'm watching a commercial for the NASCAR. It's coming back. Man, I'm so pumped. Yep, next Sunday, 3.30 at Darlington Raceway. It will be fanless, as will every other race in the in the foreseeable future. So don't 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 go to the track. If you live near Darlington, just just don't walk outside, please, please. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just blabbing. We we're currently under a uh, commercial break. So yeah. Oh, no, I was going to say we're back. Well, I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back. About to go green. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Um, Mr. Wood, I, d I don't remember his first name, but he is currently racing in the race today instead of Matt Benedetto in his underwear or giraffe onesie. What if that was possible? Like, you could dress in, like, whatever, um, in, in real racing. That, that would be really funny. Well, I think, uh, NASCAR has, besides safety codes about what you can put into your car and stuff. So, yee. We're gonna be great. Alrighty, still a caution. I think the iRacing Flagman's name is Barney. He's still holding up that yellow, but it looks like the truck's lights are off. As you can see, it says, um, you, you can probably see, like, some Pontiac signs and some old signs. You'll see something that says the NASCAR Cup Series. Um, hopefully Kappa won't get at me after this, um, but it's, uh, and the signs are still there. And this is off, like, when I, or when North Wilkesboro was, like, really big. I want to say 1970s, it could be wrong. Um, it was the Winston Cup Series, but I think it's because it's a video game and kids do play this that they just kept it NASCAR Cup Series. Um, because you may or may not know what Winston is. Oh, let's crank it up. Fox won't sue me. Man, yeah, I love me some crank it ups. Couple cars with some damage. Oh, 95. He goes around. He collects Kyle Bush. They're all around. Oh, and there's some more contact with what looks like Martin Truex Jr. And I, I didn't see the other one, but I did see Martin Truex Jr. Trouble. Oh, but we're still going green. We, we haven't pulled down the caution yet. Just like the... Number 11 and 66 are battling it out for second place. 
Ross, Chain, Ross Chastain is currently kicking butt and taking names, but will Denny Hamlin and and uh, Timmy Hill be able to catch up? Will this uh, will this finish it? Number uh, number eleven is catching up to number six. It looks like it looks like Timmy Hill has been left out in the dust. The one who has started it. He was the one who st who started this. Had the idea for it. He won Homestead, being Dale Earnhardt Jr. Will he win again with ten laps to go? Oh, he's on the rear bumper of Ross Chastain. Next week, or yeah, next week he will see Ryan Newman. Oh, he he bumps him. He goes. The six goes up high, and the eleven is going away. Now the 66, oh, the 89 spins the 6. 89 goes around in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 8. Ca I believe caution is out. Nope, we're still going fast. Still green. 66 to Timmy Hill has no one behind them. It's just him and Denny Hamlin. To go t through turns 1 and turns 2. I, th I always get these confused, but North Wilkesboro... I believe the front stretch is uphill and the back stretch is downhill. I, I really can't see it. Uh, may, maybe it's like a small thing. Like maybe if I went to the track and ran on the course, I could tell if it's uphill or downhill. But I, I, I just thought the idea like a physical downhill, like you can definitely feel the downhill and a physical uphill. Man, that, that would be one heck of a race course right there. It looks like the 11 is going away. What happened to the 66? He's fading. Fading fast. As the 11 goes through, turns 1 and turns 2. Oh, 66. He is way off pace. His right front's w w wiggling a bit. Might have a flat tire. Sorry, can't speak today. Oh, he he's catching up to 11 turn, maybe. He's really slow on exit. Yet again, it looks like he's wobbling on the right front. Maybe something with the suspension? Something the suspension broke loose? Well, Tyler Reddick is way back with almost two seconds from the leader. So, he's got plenty of space. But the 31 and the 30 running a tribute to Dale Earnhardt's schemes. I think they look really good. Fitting for this classic track. I'm glad that Dale Earnhardt Jr. and iRacing have brought this back. Alrighty. Uh, two to go, by the way. I, I want this to happen in real life. Hashtag bring back North Wilkesboro, everyone. Alrighty. It looks like Denny Hamlin. He's just walking away with it. As we come to the... Uh, not to the white flag. To the white flag? Yes, it was to the white flag. Denny Hamlin just taking time... Or, just has to take his time around. The 66 is way far back. The one who has started it. He is going to make it around turn four. Up the hill. Into the front stretch. Denny Hamlin will win. One of the IRS and bosses. Tim Hill in second. Uh, William Byron is not here today. Tyler Reddick in, the, in 31 is third. Congratulations. Congratulations, Denny Hamlin. The one who started it will be the one who ends it. Oh, the six is not happy with the 11. Woof. But man, what a race. Woo! This is my first the first time ever seeing a race in North Wilkesboro. And man, man, I want to bring it back so bad. That was just really cool. As Denny Hamlin does a burnout, your Daytona 500 champ, your ho virtual Homestead Miami Speedway champ, and now your... North Wilkesboro Series Champion. And donuts are sponsored by a small donut shop. How cool is that? <laughs> There's a wall there, Denny. Oh, he knows. I see what he's doing. I tried to do this in NASCAR Inside Line. I can never get it right, though. The fans aren't even cheering. They're just standing there. Woo! Congratulations, Denny, and that driving... Uh, delivering strength paint scheme for FedEx. That right there. Is amazing. Guts, Denny Hamlin. Woo! Oh, looks like he's got. Oh. Wow, what a race! So, I'll possibly see y'all next week. Please, please, please go down and vote. I need to know. Because I enjoy doing this. I hope you enjoy watching it. 
Wash your hands. See y'all later. And race on.